doing nothing will also mean that by 2050, the wetlands that are currently have some some water and have that high quality, higher quality pickleweed habitat that Brody mentioned in the map, uh, where they have been getting tidal flow and they've been able to uh, that area has been able to improve uh, between 2007 and 2013. That will then become a flooded, stagnant pond as the sea level rises. The tide gates can no longer allow flushing in and out of water. They will be permanently shut, uh, and we're just going to have a wet, so, stagnant mess. So sea level rise projections do show that our tide gate uh, should eventually become non-functional. And the small area, you know, they, we call it the biota wetlands, but only about 10% of it is functioning as a wetland. And we stand a chance of losing that with sea level rise if we don't start planning and implementing uh, restoration to, uh, to, to plan for that. 